Welcome back to Wish Trend TV. Wish Trenders, we got you! Yay! Yay. Yeah. Today, today's topic is <laughs> exfoliation solutions for acne prone skin. Yay! Okay, recently we did a survey on our community tab and we were asking your concerns of any concerns that you guys have when you're exfoliating for your acne prone skin. So the first one was picking the right exfoliating product for me. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm, that was really mm -hmm. difficult. Number two was not sure how often or how much product yeah. to use when you're exfoliating. Number three was exfoliating um, sounds kind of too irritating for my acne prone skin. And number four was not sure what other products to use with my exfoliator and in what order. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I think those were all really good ones. <laughs> tricky, tricky. And and you guys, 10,000 people participated in the survey and number one and number four ranked the highest, Ooh. which was number one, picking the right exfoliating products for me. Number four, not sure what other products to use with my exfoliator or in what order. Well, like I relate to every single mm -hmm. one actually because all four of them were like really tricky, like it problems. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. So today we brought every single exfoliating product from our company. Yay! So shall we just give them the spotlight for a moment and Done. show them what we brought? Okay. Yeah, I have this toner and this is the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. And then we have the serum. So many people live by the serum, like yes. me. Dun dun dun, guys. <gasps> what oh, is this? Can we show? What is this? It's a new arrival! <laughs> Don't show me! <it>. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Iris. Okay. okay, so this, and we have one more. We actually had one more. This uh, is the oh, we'll just cleanser, but yeah, this yes. is the Acid Duo 2% Mild Gel Cleanser. Yes. Is exfoliating good or bad for acne-prone skin? Because mm. I've heard that it can make acne worse. Help! Okay, so this is a really good question. I think it's only when you exfoliate in a certain way that it mm. doesn't suit your sensitive acne prone skin. And maybe the way that you're doing it or the product you're using or the method that you're doing, it's not suiting your skin at mm. the condition that it's in at the moment. So <clears throat> every acne has so many different causes. And then I know it can get really annoying, but these causes are really complex and there's so many different ones that it's really hard to pinpoint out just one of them okay so for me personally and for a lot of people for example like a lot of people say that some certain solutions it has worked tremendous for them mm -hmm. but it might not work for you so i remember that for me my acne is caused a lot by my bowel movements like my chan mm -hmm. so whatever i eat and if i have trouble with uh, my bowel movements like i break out more so a lot of people say that when they take bi uh, biotics uh probiotics that it's really good for them and their yeah, acne yeah. clears up and i kind of agree with them because for me the <clears throat> effect that my bowel movements has on my skin is just tremendous however it might not work for iris because yeah. we really don't know it just totally depends right so it's really hard to find out that one fundamental thing that's causing your acne mm. but like there's always something we all have in common yeah. and in this case the one key factor that always contribute to acne is of course sebum and dead skin cells. Mm -hmm. So no matter what the cause was, if the sebum was produced more than average, but it's not getting discharged normally, then that's what causes all of the blackheads and whiteheads and other types of pimples. Mm -hmm. So why can't sebum get discharged normally? Well, if there's an imbalance in your body, like mm -hmm. what Eunice mentioned, right. like if that's your bowel movements or like whatever it is, if your body cycle isn't healthy, yeah. then most likely your skin isn't healthy as well because our skin is part of our body, right? Yes. So take care of your health, guys, because <laughs> yeah, take, health is all. You know, in Korea, we always say konggang <laughs> yi Health is the best. the best. So take care of your body cycle, and that mm -hmm. is really going to help your skin cycle as well. Mm -hmm. And for example, when you're having an imbalance, you're going to produce more dead skin cells. Right. And these dead skin cells are going to block your pores. Mm -hmm. Then you're still, you know, releasing oil and sebum, but right. these aren't getting discharged because you have dead skin cells blocking your pores. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And these are going to pile up and start to swollen, and that's what causes pimples. Yes, exactly. Mm. So it's a really bad cycle that just happens over mm. and over again. Mm. If even if you put the most expensive product or like the <laughs> best, yeah, 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 expensive fancy. product or fancy product or whatever, even if you put a really good product on your acne or on your skin, if it's covered and there's so much of the buildup of the dead skin cells, your product cannot penetrate deep within your skin. So this is what you need to do. How can we care for our skin and exfoliate thoroughly at the same time? The first thing you need to do, first thing, first thing is you have to exfoliate your skin. Mm. You need to remove the buildup of the dead skin cells. And the second thing is you have to moisturize and you have to do recovery care. This is very key. Some people like, they do exfoliating, that's fine, right? Mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm. they make sure to exfoliate, but they forget that they need to hydrate afterwards. Mm. So that is really crucial too. So you have to keep that in mind. How often should I use a chemical exfoliator for my acne prone mm -hmm. skin? And what ingredients should I look for in an exfoliator? Well, chemical exfoliators that we told you guys mm. today, all that we recommend, they're all very mild, so you can use them every day. So all the products we have out here. Yes. But like we mentioned, we all have different types of skins. So if it irritates your skin, then just stay away from frequent use and right. use them, you know, like whenever your skin feels okay. Yeah. Just look at how your skin is feeling. And we're going to give you guys a brief explanation of all the chemical exfoliation ingredients. Yes, it's going to be perfect. So there is AHA, BHA, LHA, and PHA that we wanted to recommend. Mm -hmm. So AHA exfoliates the surface of your skin. So glycolic acid, citrusic acid that are used in peeling products have very small particles. So what that means is basically it penetrates really deep down into your skin. So it's great. However, sometimes it can be very irritating on sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, when you look at mandelic acid right there in the picture, mandelic acid is, it has a very large molecular size so it sinks down to the skin very slowly so what it means is that it's very gentle mm. on the skin while it hydrates your skin while it removes the dead skin cells very well but at the same time it's still very gentle so that's why we do want to recommend it for acne prone skin types and mandelic acid alone has other really mm -hmm. good effects like improving pigmentation recovering photo aging and antibiotic characteristics also so it's a really good thing for antioxidation effect or for even anti-aging. So. Of course, and LHA has a little bit of a better rate of penetration than BHA, so it helps melt down the blackheads and whiteheads. Yes. Now PHA, it's very similar to AHA, mm -hmm. which is low irritating and skin types that feel sensitive under sunlight. Right. You guys can all use it without feeling burnt or stinging under the sun. Right. Like I'm really sensitive with the sun same, and I, same. yeah, I like blush up, mm -hmm. but so those of you guys who feel like you guys have those symptoms like me, you guys will be fine using PHA, which is similar to AHA. Right. Now, we have a few acid duo products that combine LHA and PHA. Now, LHA, the names today. It's <laughs> difficult, yeah. right? The LHA, LHA and <laughs> PHA. So LHA improves sebum and pores, mm. and PHA is a low irritating exfoliator. Right. So these combined together are our acid duo products. Right. And so one of the acid duo products, actually we have two, and this it's the, mm. this one. Mm. Beautiful packaging, yes. right? It already says, says acid duo up look here. At, look at cutie iris too. A lot of you guys know is a very low irritating product that gets rid of right. the guck and the oil and the sebum without drying out your skin. So perfect for combination skin like me or you know dry mm. skin or oily skin. Mm. And we recommend the hibiscus cream to acne prone skin, skin with blemishes, dry skin types and oily skin types. But we're gonna have some concentrated, serious talk about this guy right yes. here later. So I'll just keep this keep this here. So this is from Nick Tang Tang Tang. It says exfoliation seems too irritating on the skin. What ingredients are gentle yet effective? And how can we calm the skin fast when it does happen? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, so chemical exfoli exfoliators like AHA, PHA, VHA, and LHA are all ways to exfoliate with the lowest irritation possible. And these products, do, 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 
do 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 and whatever we had here do 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 are all mild, so you can use them every day. But mm. if they are irritating, then control the frequency of using them as it suits to your yeah. skin. Mm. And when you guys are following our tips with other products right. that we are mentioning here, mm. just it's fine to follow our tips, but it may have different chemicals and different ingredients in right. them. So we recommend you stay like pay attention to it and yeah. maybe do like swatches on your arm, yeah. just in case it has other chemical ingredients that we weren't mentioning today. And right, and it might yeah, like yeah. clash with clash, one another. Yeah, so yeah. Keep that in mind. Mm -mm -mm. It's the time. We are gonna introduce ah! you guys to the new hibiscus cream. <laughs> okay, so before we show you the beautiful packaging, just to mention that when our staff were actually making this amazing product, they focused on finding the solutions for many people's concerns when they were exfoliating. So the first concern was, uh, they, one of the things that they focused on was the first thing is they wanted to minimize skin irritation when you are exfoliating because they felt mm -hmm. that a lot of the customers did feel uh, some type of irritation when you're exfoliating. Yeah, yeah. The second thing they focused on was suitable for everyday use for different skin types. That was very important for them. Number three, they wanted to make sure that it recovers the skin's regeneration cycle to keep your skin very clear and transparent. And the fourth thing they wanted to for sure focus on was that it did not clash with yes. brightening products. Because I know that uh, our wish trenders are already using other uh, products with vitamin C or niacinamide. So they wanted to make a product that it doesn't clash with your routine. Beautiful packaging here, you guys. This is the Bi Wish Trend Acid Duo product that contains LHA that helps to improve sebum and pores and PHA which is a low irritating exfoliator. Look at this beautiful packaging. Right off the bat you can see, uh, you can see that it's the same line together. Pretty. So pretty guys. Pretty in pink. Dun da da da. Ah, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Let me see if it focuses huh? Yes, look at it, this. It, it's, ooh. ooh. Look at this beautiful. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Oh. <laughs> it's Wednesday today, and we have a pink product here. Yes. Okay, so we're going to open this up. As you can see, oh. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's nothing, but we're like, oh. oh. Okay, ready? Dan, look dun, at dun, this dun, dun. beautiful pink color, guys. Baby pink. Yes, I don't know if you guys have seen a hibiscus flower before, but they're really bright red. So when it's actually, look at this, that Ooh. beautiful picture right there. So when we made this product, there's a slight hint of pink, which is just beautiful. And look at this. Okay, I'm going to show you the texture. Ooh. Let me just show it like this first. Feels look very, it looks light. Right? It doesn't feel heavy. Let's put it on our rogi and just swipe it first like that. Ooh. And it's going to soak in really fast, you guys. So it contains 63% of hibiscus extracts uh, instead of using just distilled water, so which is really, really hydrating. So what I was saying is that it's also known as Botox cream. Botox. Look at this. Ooh. The finish is very light and it's not sticky at all. So I just wanted to show you the finish first. And it has abundant amount of ingredients that really helps with antioxidation. So keep that in mind, guys. And I'm going to hold up this packaging because it's so oh, pretty. It's really oh, yeah. Can you hold the packaging sure, for sure, me? Sure. It's so pretty, guys. And um, also, the product doesn't have like a flowery scent to it. Do you want to smell it? When you smell it, like you would ex like automatically think that it will smell like flowery mm, no, and things like that. But it doesn't have any scent in it, and we did not add any essential oils or any type of artificial scents to it. The reason was because exfoliating ingredients, when it's mixed with allergens of perfumes, it can become really irritating for the skin, and we did not want that for our wish trenders. So you guys, when you smell it, you might not feel like a flowery scent to it, but just know that there's no essential mm -hmm. oils and there's absolutely no artificial scents, which is much better for your skin. Mm -hmm. It smells just like cream. It's like yeah. nothing's clashing to my like senses. And it's very subtle, so I don't think yeah, it would yeah. feel or it would feel like anything or it wouldn't smell like anything for you guys. Mm -mm -mm. So this cream you guys can use both day and night because mm -hmm. it's very mild. But you just want to make sure that when you're using it during the day, mm -hmm. you have to apply sunscreen along yes, with it. Yeah, because yes. we told you guys all about the chemicals that are inside this product. So just make sure you are wearing sunscreen. I mean, even if you're not wearing this cream, you guys have to always be wearing sunscreen. sunscreen. Yeah. 
yeah. always. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to tell you guys about a routine that mm. we made up to help you guys actually enhance the things that this cream will do to you. And this is like an exfoliating routine. So okay. if you want to like focus on exfoliating your skin with the hibiscus cream. Right. Perfect. So first of all, before you sleep at night, you're going to wet a cotton pad with a toner and just wipe, wipe, wipe away. <laughs> wipe, 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 wipe away. away. Okay, okay. And then you're going to apply a generous thick amount mm. of the hibiscus cream onto your skin. Don't use any other products other than the hibiscus cream. Okay, so you want to just focus on the cream itself. And you guys want to actually see the improvements mm. from this hibiscus cream. So apply a generous um, amount. Sleep. And then the next day, you're going to wash your face with a low pH cleanser, maybe like this one. Right. Not with water. You want to like actually get mm. rid of the guck and the skin cells that have been like discharged overnight right. due to the hibiscus cream. So you're going to wipe your face, wipe your face. <laughs> wipe, wipe, wipe. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's the end of the routine. That's gonna that's really the end help of the with the exfoliate. Yeah, that's how to like exfoliate mm. using the hibiscus cream. Mm. And if you do want to, as we mentioned before, use it with other products or other ingredients, this is a routine that we do recommend that won't lower the exfoliating mm. effect, but that will actually bump it up, that will boost it up, that will enhance it. So we do want to recommend that you first use the where is it? Oh, when you do the, you need to cleanse your face first, right? Before you use your skincare product. So you have to use the Acid Duo Gel Cleanser first. And we do want to recommend for the next step to use the Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water or the Vitamin Drop. It's up to you. You can choose just mm. one. You don't have to use both, but you can just choose one. And then the last step, you can use the beautiful I was going to say uh, 36, but 63, <laughs> 63 hibiscus cream, the new arrival, guys. So within this order, can you hold it for me, Iris? Yes. And then we need hands. So within this order, so this first, and then choose one of these, and then you finish off with the cream. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the order that we do want to recommend. So pretty. Yes, and using it with other acid-related products, you have to actually wait five minutes in between application. This really helps to... <laughs> This really helps on, to yes. improve the skin. Mm -hmm. When I put this on, I would wait five minutes and then I would put, <laughs> I would put the 63 uh, hibiscus cream yes. on. And the reason is because you want to give your skin that interval time to make sure that everything is fully soaked in. This and this will make a huge difference, um, like towards the end. So you have to make sure that you wait five minutes, and it will really help. And it can also be used with vitamin C or niacinamide, as we mentioned before. But we do recommend to control according to your mm. skin concern or skin type. So if your skin right now is very sensitive, we would recommend that you don't use it in one routine. But if it's not, you can use it with other vitamin C or niacinamide ingredients. And we do want to recommend that you don't use a physical exfoliator like scrub. It's not recommended to use it uh, in one routine together. Yeah, okay. All right, so guys. So moving on. So actually, we're going to do quick this very, very yeah. quickly, but some of your questions were so good, so we're gonna do it in short answers, okay? I've heard that some homemade exfoliating scrubs, like sugar scrubs, mm. can cause microscopic tears in the skin that can lead to aging, among right. other issues. Is that true, or is it for only some scrubs? Actually, if you exfoliate too harshly, and if you do uh, use a physical exfoliator at times, there's a high chance that your skin barrier will definitely break down and become damaged. So constant irritation, stress on the skin, it can definitely speed up the aging process. <laughs> so you have to keep that in mind. So if you do feel some type of like irritation or sensitivity on the skin, you have to just stop exfoliating because you might be over exfoliating at the moment. So for a certain period of time, when you feel like your skin is renewed and regenerated, just please wait and be patient and don't exfoliate. And after that time, when it's fully recovered, then you can decide maybe, ah, oh, this was too harsh for me. I will try another one. Or maybe you can, uh, uh, like Iris talked about, the frequency, maybe you can kind of do it mm -hmm. less. Mm -hmm. So it's totally up to you guys but you have to pay close attention to what your skin is telling you and I do want to personally recommend that you try other different exfoliators mm -hmm. like chemical exfoliators that we talked about today the really mild and gentle ones like AHA BHA or LHA or PHA or even enzymes that we've mentioned before mm -hmm. so I have really sensitive combination skin my skin wasn't so sensitive a few years ago but I realized it's getting more sensitive from skincare products that aren't right for me oh my gosh we 
can totally relate to that. That's why I struggle with finding gentle but effective exfoliation products because I don't want to damage my skin barrier. I tend to avoid exfoliating in general because of this reason. Such Ooh, a good question. Okay, so if your skin has become sensitive, like mm. we all do, my skin is always sensitive, especially when like the weather is down and mm. it's like humid, or when we have lots of micro dust, my skin feels so sensitive. Right. Then you guys should stop exfoliating, just stay away, because sometimes it's really good to give your skin a break and just yeah. stay away from highly functional products. Right, right. I just want to like focus on recovering mm. the skin. Mm. So instead, try to use ceramides and hyaluronic acids that is going to help you hydrate and recover your skin. Right. And once your skin has come back to normal condition, then mm. that's when you can start exfoliating again. Yeah, I think this is so good because sometimes it's not just chemical exfoliants mm. or chemical ingredients that give you an exfoliating effect. You have to really know the ingredients you're yeah. using because so many ingredients out there, they do have an exfoliating effect to it. So like Iris said, if it's really sensitive, you should kind of stop at that moment and make sure let that it, it be. heals. Yeah, let, let it, be. it be. Let, let it, it be. be. Let it be. Okay, let's move on to the yes. next one. Exfoliators, what are some ways for teens to exfoliate? Amazing, guys. So teens can use all the ingredients that we talked about today you can oh yeah iris is yes, a teen I'm, yeah 16, just in right? case you guys yeah. thought i was 26 i'm i'm 17 yeah okay so teens <laughs> can use chemical exfoliants and we'll put a link in the description below of the exfoliating for different types of skin types in the description box below so please check it out it's a really good video and we actually show you each step and the how to's and we also give you product recommendations too so please check it out if you're a teen and you kind of don't know where to start with um, exfoliating, this will be an amazing video for you guys. Thank you so much for joining us at Wish Trenders. We got, got you. you! We love you! Bye! Bye guys!